All right, guys. Today we are going to work on cleaning up this. I don't even know what you'd call it. Let's call it our shed. Uh, but it is an absolute mess. We have piles of boxes here. More boxes over there. Some boxes have already broken down. More gear. All this stuff on the floor, and of course, we've got the race car right there. So I think first things first, we'll go through a bunch of these boxes just here and then load up my car with a bunch of the boxes that have been broken down, ready to get rid of those tomorrow and just start working our way through because I dare say it's going to take me a bit of time and uh, I just want to get this place sorted so I can set it up and make it look half like a bit of a shop ready to work on our race car. So we have that pretty much all this, essentially this side, all cleared out. So now it's just a uh, bit of an understanding of where I'm going to put things. So the, uh, the plan is when we got this house, I actually promised my wife that we could get a treadmill. Because hey, not only do I need to lose, does the car need to lose a bit of weight, I need to as well. Um, and she just wanted to get fit, so I said, Compromise was we can get a treadmill if it goes in the shed perfectly fine fine with me. So Just in this box down here uh, We have a treadmill and I'm trying to decide where to put it if I put it Just in that corner there, which I think it may fit it may stick out just a little bit in the doorway, but that's fine um, And we'll put it over there and then from then we will uh start building up this corner. I think I might move this this workbench I made about oh, five years ago. Um, super sturdy workbench. I need to make something that was actually tall enough for me. So I made that, it's just on casters so I can shift that around myself and then once we shift that, we can start working towards all the other stuff that needs to get done. And start uh, tidying it up from one side to the other. So I think now it's time to uh, Drag the old treadmill out and start putting it together so one, it's out of the way and two, we can start using it. Well, it's a lot of pieces to put together. It might take me longer than I thought, but uh, we'll get it done. I bet you the instructions are sitting down the bottom under everything else, because that's usually what happens. All right, we'll go for a bit of a dig and see what we can find. All right, so the remains of the treadmill box, and then we've got our treadmill which actually tucks nice and neatly in this corner over here which is absolutely perfect and now over in this little corner here we might put our workbench and a few things but that's that's really cool that actually folds up nice and neatly so we'll probably just leave it there like that for a moment and uh, you know to go around the track go to do the, lose some pounds to go the rounds so we'll uh, hit that treadmill hard and see if we can lose a bit of weight and uh, 
get a bit of speed out of this old car over here. All right, so we got rid of all our boxes that were here, cleaned up this shed, moved the uh, workbench over there. That will not stay there. I'll probably move that over to this side of the shed over there. That shelf is gonna come over to this side and we just picked up another new shelf to put that together. I'll just have to get a few more parts for that as we go along. But all we got left now of our rubbish is just a whole bunch of polystyrene. Um, you know, killing the planet one, one TV at a time, I guess. So I'm sure as Christmas comes along, that will add to the collection of polystyrene that I have to get rid of. What do you reckon, Cruzy? The dinosaurs? Yeah? <sighs> made a bit of a start, you see we've got some kids seats all the way up there, a few Christmas boxes that once Christmas is done that'll be filled back up. Just started filling the shelves, I was going to get some new shelves to go underneath here but I might just store some taller things underneath there and then this rack here will be most of the stuff that we saw in our old house back in Townsville, that'll store all the car stuff and stuff like that. Now it's time to start just sorting through all this gear over here, so I might just start moving stuff in the um, driveway. Um, I have a little garden shed that some of this stuff can go in as well, so yeah, it's just a matter of sorting through what's what and getting things situated for when we need them and uh, where we want to put them. pretty stoked this is shaping up to be a, uh, a really cool space to work on the car to create videos um, just do a bunch of other things in here because we have now so much room now that we've actually cleaned most of it up and put stuff away on the shelves back here and uh, just got th some things stacked away we're now really starting to see how much room we've actually got now all the stuff back in here in the boxes um, that's just stuff that I need to go through and unpack there's five boxes of that uh, the polystyrene um, that needs to go and get rid of that it's pretty much an entire box full of that once that goes that space then becomes even bigger again um, maybe just tidy up these shelves that's all car stuff on the uh, on the racks right there. Got to sort out the fishing rods. Got the engines engine hoist there. Obviously, got the car. And then this space has pretty much become the workshop side of the uh, of the shed. So we've got our workbench, which it's got a bit of stuff on at the moment. They're actually Christmas presents. Toolbox. Um, tool chest, like I said before, I'll probably upgrade those at some point. Um, got the press, we'll get a little table, we'll put our um, drill press on it. Um, I'll put the compressor in this corner because we've got, I might even put it just over here by the workbench. I'll run power from that power point along here and we'll just put it, just run to a power board that I'll probably just you know, screw in on the side up here. Um, to provide power to the bench and all the stuff that's on there. 
We've got space hung our wheel alignment kit up along the wall. Um, and then we've just got a bunch of space to store everything else. So it's actually, it's not that bad. It's actually coming along really, really well. So um, we'll just keep plugging away and keep putting stuff in their respective spots. Um, I do have a air conditioner and a fan there. Now that air conditioner, um, we could use it inside or if it gets way too hot, we could always just use it in the shed. The fan, Brutus, brought that down from Townsville. That'd be awesome, so I can plug that in. I might even plug it in now and just get a bit of airflow in here. Um, it is well ventilated, uh, but you can always have a bit of, bit of air blowing through. Uh, surprisingly, this is the first day that I've been down here in Brisbane and I've just been sweating because it is quite humid today, so it feels just like being back home in Townsville. So, I think we'll just start unpacking boxes. Um, these big black crates will do those first because they're just wheel dollies and get those taken care of and then we'll, um, yeah, just keep chugging away at it. Might have to leave it there for today guys, but as you can see, it's uh, looking awesome. We've got a nice big area to work in just here. And then once we clean up this side, those boxes are all empty, I just have to break those down. Once we tidy up these side, this side, um, like I said, boxes are empty, these crates are empty, just a few things along there that just need to be tidied up. It'll. Uh, It'll be perfect, and we just got to find a, find some space for this stuff, which won't be hard. It's not much of this, not, not much stuff. But yeah, this is now the home for this race car. It's um, it's gonna be awesome, absolutely fantastic. So we'll begin uh, beginning to get some work done. Like I said previously, we've got to give this car a wash. It's absolutely filthy, and then we'll um get ready to take it on track, which will be awesome. So, until next time guys, I will uh, I will see you later. And I'm super, super stoked how everything's coming along and how this new workspace for us is beginning to look. Because honestly, compared to that little tiny garage we were working in before, which it was a double garage, it was perfectly great space, but sometimes got limited on size. This is 100 times better. Absolutely fantastic. With what we've got here. Alright guys. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.